Hi, and welcome to this month's editorial where we're talking all about APIs and integrations. James Bishop from SiteMinder has written the article for this month, so make sure to check that out too if you haven't already. API stands for Application Programming Interface and enables developers to integrate independent systems to communicate and share data with each other. APIs are not seen by the end user like a user interface is, but they do offer the opportunity for individual systems to be able to easily share data and interact. Essentially, the communication layer between applications and databases that facilitates the exchange and the treatment of data. APIs allow application end users also the ability to complete actions across multiple platforms or applications within the one solution and receive information when and where they might want it. As far as the end user is concerned, they have no idea what type of integrations or interconnectivity might be happening behind the scenes to make all that possible. Well, first of all, there really is no such thing as a truly closed API, but if one uses the term closed, really what they're meaning is that the owning company of that API is requesting payment for the release of the documentation. A good example of that would be traditional legacy PMSs. And also, they'd likely charge for the time that the developers are spending assisting with development and testing. The good news is that this is changing with more and more companies opening up and freely providing their APIs on their website. Giving tech companies that want to integrate with these services the opportunity to freely access these in order to start coding and writing to them. With that said, no matter what type of tech company is offering their open API, they are all quite unique and different in their own right. So for example, you might have tech provider A who wants to connect to APIs from tech providers B, C, D, and E. In order for them to do that, tech provider A still finds themselves having to write to every one of those APIs individually because they each have their own unique dedicated API. Yes, it is open, but the work required to write to each one can still be quite a laborious process. To get around this issue, companies like Impala and Happy Cloud created the opportunity to integrate systems together by creating what you could consider a unified format that can be consumed by any number of receiving systems. So kind of like a data exchange platform that helps open the door between tech providers who want to innovate together faster and with far less cost. Which makes a lot of sense because in today's agile world, innovation can take place so fast that having quicker ways to take products to market is the expectation now rather than a nice to have. So without having this type of service, it could also be a slower and lengthier process to certify, for example, an upselling tool with a PMS. Outdated legacy technology only puts up barriers around hotel data, and these are slowly starting to be removed. And in order for hotels to truly interact and establish brand relationships with their guests, hotels are and must continue to break these barriers down. In other words, stay away from legacy systems as much as possible. If you don't, you're simply not future-proofing your tech stack. By allowing seamless integrations between hotel systems and willing third parties, modern thinking tech providers offer universal APIs that conform to widely used industry standards. This helps to simplify the setup and accelerates adoptions for new partners while minimizing costs for both sides, hotel and tech provider. Let's say you're an independent city hotel in Europe. It's quite likely that you have a number of various technologies in place for your hotel's day-to-day -day operations. Systems such as a property management system, a channel manager, upselling tool, revenue management, maintenance systems, accounting, as well as others. Many people are familiar with the fact that these systems historically have been working independently of each other. And that can be very challenging when trying to consolidate the data and streamline processes between these systems. Perhaps the most important requirement of a hotel's tech stack in today's times is ensuring all these systems can talk to one another. Actually, it's just a basic necessity when it comes to sharing and synchronizing data from room rates and bookings to guest information, payments, as well as even room access. 
If hotels are working with separate systems from different providers that do not integrate with each other, I can guarantee you that this equates to many extra staff hours that are being devoted to accessing, reconciling and cross-referencing this information in order to keep track of the happenings in the hotels. Choosing and implementing new technology can be stressful at the best of times, but we've always said that it doesn't have to be. Working with tech providers that offer an open API framework should always be top of mind because they'll provide the opportunity to easily have access to new and exciting technologies that will add value to your hotel's operations and guests while ultimately assisting in increasing revenues. Working with an open API based tech stack gives hotel operators a sense of comfort and knowledge that they are well placed for future proofing their technology capabilities. Hoteliers should never rely on a single system to do it all in today's competitive market. It just doesn't make sense locking yourself into a contract that is hard to get out of and then being reliant on technology that your business will ultimately outgrow. Having the freedom to pick and choose technology when you need it and knowing it can be done in a plug and play type scenario with no bounding contracts, but rather on a monthly subscription is the best position to be in. We believe it is very important for hoteliers to be in a position to ask some basic questions of their service providers, regardless of the technology that they're looking into. In this case, APIs need to be flexible and easy to understand, whilst of course doing the job that you need them to do. So, whichever application that you might be wanting to bring into your tech stack, as a minimum, you'd want it to connect to your PMS. Ultimately, everything runs through your PMS, so whatever third-party application that you're going to want to add, it's going to need to have access to that data. And this means that you'll need to share and export the PMS data into whatever system that you want to in integrate it to. Only then will you be able to start to aggregate your data and then create meaningful reports and statistics. Here are some questions that you could potentially ask a software provider or vendor to help you determine if their API is well built. Does the API support PMS integration with other programs that you use? And does it allow you to export any data that you might want to access? Is there a developer portal and up-to-date API documentation which explains everything in detail? Does the API follow standard best practices such as REST or JSON? If you'd like to know more about those languages, there's a link below that you can check out. So I think we've established now that open-based APIs offer various hospitality solutions and applications, the opportunity to connect and communicate with each other. This creates an environment where data is shared across platforms, giving hoteliers access to unified data rather than the siloed data stores of yesterday. Again, these silos only contribute to wasted resources, inefficiencies and restricted productivity, all of which affect the guest experience and never in a good way. The other benefits of working in an open API environment is the option for mobile development, partnering and partner onboarding opportunities, a decrease in cost and time to market for new products, ensuring you're running the latest systems that future-proof a business by always encouraging innovation. Having a good API allows for necessary integration, providing maximum value and output from a hotel's tech stack and the data that they accumulate. Many of the apps, programs and systems that we use are interlinked and the opportunities for future connecting of those systems offers great promise. Hotels should proactively minimize the amount of friction in new types of technologies they procure. Hotel operators are in charge of how they want to do things and shouldn't be held hostage by old legacy technology and out-of-date technology contracts. Associations like HTNG have a large database of APIs available for industry technology providers and encourage technology solutions in hospitality to embrace the sharing of data and designing of systems to ensure the future-based solutions will work well together. And as I mentioned earlier on, many new modern companies today make their APIs freely available on their website. All hotel operators and owners should strongly consider open-based platforms that encourage easy access to APIs with no financial strings attached. Many industries are ahead of us on this front and the advantages are already proven. However, we are catching up and we're starting to see that open APIs in hotel tech are a very good thing. Thanks for watching and for subscribing. Don't forget to download the app from the iOS store 
or the Google App Store. And until next time, it's bye for now. <laughs>